Holy cow, can we talk about the sequence that just finished? Welcome to the Time Treadmill, I'm Ron, and these are my sweaty thoughts about Doctor Who. Okay, I need you to give me a second, I'm a little out of breath. And no, not because that was a breathtaking sequence, I'm just, whew. So, Part two of Planet of Spiders, I had totally forgotten, contains the longest and most complex chase sequence in the history of Doctor Who, certainly in its first 11 years, and I'm hard pressed to think of anything that matches it in the classic era at all, and arguably very few in the modern era. So first of all, it's worth noting, John Pertwee is a huge, huge fan of cars, the faster the better, and really into chase sequences and action sequences. He very much influenced Doctor Who into the direction of becoming more James Bond-like. And so, since this was his last story, producer Barry Letts wanted an action sequence written just to make John Pertwee very, very happy. And so, this sequence happened, which was in some ways cribbed from the previous year's James Bond movie, but doesn't matter. Matter. It is spectacular. Nearly half of the runtime of part two is taken up by this one chase sequence that starts out with Bessie chasing after the Who-mobile while a helicopter follows, and then a change of who's driving what, and then the helicopter flying off, and the doctor and the Who-mobile flying after the helicopter, and there's that whole sequence, and then they both land, and it's a speedboat and a hoverboat, and it's just, oh, it's incredible. It's 11 full minutes of nonstop chase action. Now, I know the writer, Robert Sloman, was not a fan of this sequence. He felt like it brought the story to a dead halt and didn't do any service to the characters. I wholeheartedly disagree. This is a spectacular sequence, to the point where I would say you don't need to know anything about this story. If you want to watch a great bit of classic Doctor Who, hop onto BritBox, pull up Planet of the Spiders, go to part two, and fast forward about halfway through the episode, and then just start watching this is spectacular. Oh, what a great way to start my day. Thank you so much. I needed this day more than I can even say. Anyway, tomorrow I'll talk about the actual story. Until then, I will see you later.